Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get into it, three things really quickly. One, daily videos we've given up on. It's it's my fault guys. It's just, it's not realistic for a pro player who does, you know, streaming and pro and scrims and all that stuff to make a video every single day. So the new goal is a video once every two days. Sometimes if I have like a major competition, we'll make it once every three days, but we're gonna try and do once every two days. You guys hold me accountable for that. Second is you guys ask me all the time about new Discord servers, stuff like that. We have made a new Discord server that is awesome. It has a bunch of cool stuff in there. There are limited time roles. The first time it is ever going to be released is during the drop of this video. So you guys are going to be first. Make sure you guys are in there and are active at the start. Link is going to be in the description. Make sure you guys click and enjoy now because forever and ever and ever, there are going to be roles in there that only the first few people who are in that server and active can get. And you guys want to be those people because you're just going to look cooler than everyone else. And then third off is we have an awesome video coming in two days. I've never done anything like it. It's going to be really fun. I have like seven impossible challenges that I don't think I'll be able to do. But hopefully I can do one and it's going to be really funny. So make sure you guys check that out in two days. But with that being said, let's hop into the video. Let's get you guys better at Brawl Stars. Okay, so coming up first is how to juke Spike curves so i mean this one is pretty difficult at first because curveball is really annoying but it's kind of the same as juking a regular spike shot there's a certain distance that you have to be away in a certain position they have to be away from the original shot before it explodes and as you guys can see on the screen right now it's really predictable it does the same thing every single time it curves the same way every single time it explodes the same way every single time so once you guys get this down and once you guys figure out how to juke it and where you have to stand, it becomes really, really, really easy. It takes like three minutes of time if you have someone to practice with. And if you don't have someone to practice with, when you face spikes, you can just try and apply what you're seeing right now. So if you wanna stand directly under the spike shot, you can do that. You stand about a tile away, a tile and a half, maybe two tiles. I don't know exactly. I'm more of a visual type of person, so you guys can see it on your screen. But it's the same thing. You just walk to the left with the spike shot. You go right under it. You don't even have to walk to the left if you know the proper distance and are good at it. And then there are other ones as well. So if you're a little bit right of the shot, you just move up a little bit and then you walk left with it again. Again, every single spot for a spike shot has a perfect juking pattern you can juke it literally perfectly if you wanted to i don't know how many i juked in a row here but we played i think two minutes of him just shooting at me with spike shots and i think he only got one super throughout the entirety of the game and half of it i was just spinning for um so once you practice it you can get really really good at it but this is how to juke spike curves so with our second tip we're gonna have do your homework now this is very important this is more on the iq side of brawl stars as you guys can see right here i'm playing shelly we're facing a tara a crow and a bb and i won lane so fast and why did i win lane well because i'm a shelly facing a bb now you guys can see they're gonna switch sides and this is part of doing your homework you have to know your counters there's a bunch of things that are inside of this point one of them obviously is knowing your counters you should know every single brawler's counters and what counters it it is not that hard it's pretty simple if you're a shelly you want to face tanks and you're going to put yourself on tanks you don't want to play a game and say okay i'm facing tanks and then go lane the crow because as you guys can see in this game right here they're trying to put the crow on me and it's a very very difficult to beat a crow as a shelly when i can just face a bb and walk up and auto aim it is super easy to do that so i would highly recommend learning your counters learning everything and then on top of that you also want to understand how to use your utility so as you guys saw on your screen right there the tara just used her puppets into a buzz what did that do clearly as you guys can see the tara is dead it did absolutely nothing buzz can just shoot right through it you want to be able to utilize your utility to the absolute best way possible so put those tara pets onto the shelly put the tara onto the shelly because it's a much better matchup so knowing how to use your utility is really important and then another one with doing your homework is just watch professional gameplay just watch how pros play watch some things you're always going to pick up some new things by watching pros so definitely go ahead and do that i would highly recommend it is a very very easy way to get better really fast our next tip is going to be how to 6k a safe with Daryl, now this one is pretty difficult, but it's actually quite easy to learn. I've never 6K'd a safe in my life. And then someone showed me how to do it, and it took me 10 minutes to hit about 50% of 6Ks. Now that was about two weeks ago. I haven't tried it in a very long time, so I get 6K 
about 25% of the time, 30% of the time, but I get really high damage basically every single time. And this is what you have to do. You gotta go to the very top left of the safe and you just have to make a backwards C. So you start in the safe, you go to the right, you go down and then to the left, backwards C, and you're gonna do a lot of damage every single time. Now again, practice this, just, just go into a friendly room, turn on bots, click hot potato, walk in a straight line, do three gadgets, click exit, do it again, three gadgets, exit, do this for 10 minutes and you guys are gonna be able to 6K so many times. And this is a very big deal. It does like 10% to the safe compared to like zero or the 1% or the 2% that you guys are doing. And doing that three times can make a very big difference over the course of the game. So definitely try this out and definitely get good at this, especially since Daryl is meta right now. So our next tip is going to be pinch. So pinching is one of the most important things that nobody, and I literally mean nobody in Brawl Stars does. Only the pros do this for whatever strange reason, but pinching is so important. You guys can see my lane. I am a Shelly laning cursed, a fellow pro player on Grom. I am not going to win that if I tried 100 times, but I can win that with a pinch. There are three lanes. You have the left lane, a mid lane, and a right lane. You don't have to only face your lane. You can shoot at other lanes. You can shoot at the mid. You can shoot at the right side. You can shoot at your left. You can 2v1. You can both shoot at one target. You don't always just have to focus one person. And something that you guys have to be more aware of is pinches because they are going to help you so, so, so much, especially if you're doing it on ladder. It's just gonna be free trophies. If you apply just three of the things, three of the 10 or 11 or 12 tips that I'm giving you guys, you guys are going to become instantly way better. You guys are gonna notice so many more wins on ladder. Definitely try and apply these tips. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we're gonna give you guys three tips right here. There's not really gonna be much gameplay for it, um, but it's, this is just a really simple tip. So three different play styles in this game. If you are a tank, you go in and you go in again and you go in again and again and again. I do not ever want to see any one of my subscribers playing a passive tank because there is nothing worse in the game than a passive tank. If you are dying, you're still gaining your super if you go in and take damage. Or if you're a buzz and you don't gain super, at least you're charging your super being close to people. Do not play a passive tank. Do not sit there and hold control with tanks. Just go in over and over and over and eventually you're gonna overwhelm the other team. They're gonna run out of gadgets. Something is gonna happen and you are going to win the game. Now, if you're playing control brawlers, it is the exact opposite. Do not go in. Do not forfeit your position. If you're close to getting a goal, don't just go in for no reason and try and score. Take your time, team wipe, hold control. Be sure you're going to score when you try and do so. Because control brawlers, again, in the name, you have to hold control with. And then there's just the healers. With healers, you just want to get as much value as possible. Don't die. Don't be the first one going in as a healer, as a Poco or a Byron, because that is not your job. You get far more value and far more kills just going in behind your teammates. Let your tanks go in first. Let your DPS go in first while you just heal them. Poke from the back. That is definitely want you, what you want to do as healers. Those are the three play styles. Play within those three play styles. Do not play outside of them. That's a very big important tip that you guys have to follow. So the next tip that we have for you guys is to use code Bobby in your shop. It is 100% going to make you significantly better at the game. It's gonna give you instant masters, instant 50K trophies, instant pro player status. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing that. But on a real note, I would also recommend using a stutter walk slash juke pattern. Now I understand not everyone has an iPad Pro. I understand not everyone is a pro player. That doesn't mean you need to walk in a straight line or move like an absolute bot. And yes, I'm talking to you, viewer, who moves like an absolute bot. You, everyone walks in a straight line and then when they get hit, they walk the other way. Every single person does it. I can pick a random person in the Brawl Stars Reddit server, in my server, in any server, in on Discord, on Twitter, anything. And once they get hit by a shot, the first reaction is gonna be to move the other way. Just have some type of different pattern. Just do some stutters. Don't always go the same way. Go back and forth, go front and back. There's always different things you can do. Just don't walk in a straight line because that is the worst thing you can do. And when you get hit by a shot, don't just immediately turn back because that's what every single person does. And every single good player, if they hit you when they're aiming right, they expect you to go the other way and they're gonna aim left and they're gonna two tap you 
or vice versa. So just look at the screen. You guys can see I have different patterns. I'm not juking because I'm good and I'm reacting. I'm juking just because I have different patterns and he's missing me. You can't juke a Piper. He just can't hit me. You guys want to juke like this or something like this, get to practicing because this is very, very useful. Okay, so we have two more tips for you guys. This one is going to be draft related. So what you want to do when drafting, because now that draft is in the game, it's in Power League, it's in a lot of different things, it's in Club League as well. You want to be good at it. There are brawlers that are good into everything. And I mean absolutely everything. So let's take some brawlers, for example. We're going to take Spike. Spike gets countered by throwers. Outside of throwers, it is good into everything. I would highly recommend taking Spike first on a lot of different maps, especially if there are no throwers. When Brock is meta, I would also highly recommend taking Brock, although Brock isn't really meta right now, so it's something you want to stay away from. Um, there are a lot of other brawlers. For example, Stu, that's a really good pick. Although Stu does have a lot of counters, they would have to fully counter your Stu for it to be, you know, really effective. So I would definitely consider taking Stu first. Then there are other brawlers. Sandy's a really good one. Byron's a really good one. Tara's a really good one. Max can be a good one. Bell when meta is a really good one. You guys want to stay away from throwers and tanks. That is not something you guys want to draft first or even in the middle. It's something you want to draft with your very last pick because if you can take, if you take Primo with your pick and I'm on the other team, I'm taking Shelly and you're losing lane 100 out of 100 times. You don't want to take a tank. You don't want to take a thrower, something that can get countered by a Mortis or something. Just take something that is good into everything. A good example, again, is Amber. A good example, a great example is Crow, Leon, Jean. Again, just brawlers that are good into basically everything is what you want to take with your first pick. It doesn't really matter on the map because there are some maps where, you know, some brawlers are obviously really good. But if you're taking brawlers that don't have hard counters, that is your best chance to win a game if you're going with that first pick and then our very last tip and i didn't really want to include this in the video too much or put this in the start because you know it costs money and it's not something that basically 90 percent of you guys can do but upgrading to an ipad or a 120 hertz device is it is a jump i'm not going to say it's not going to make you a pro player because people ask me all the time you know should i buy an ipad and my response to it every time is it's not going to make you a pro player it's not going to make you the best player in the world, and it's not going to make you significantly better. But it is going to be way easier to play on if you take the time and you want to be better at the game. iPad has a way higher ceiling than a 60 hertz phone does, or not iPad, I should say, in a 120 hertz phone or an iPad has a way higher ceiling than a 60 hertz device does. Then also, if you really want to get sweaty, all the pros have an Ethernet cable. Um, that's also something that you can just hook up to your router or hook up to something that can decrease your ping and just make you shoot faster, make you be able, you know, easier to juke, just all that type of stuff. Now, this is excess stuff um, that, you know, again, I didn't really want to put in the start of the video, but it, if you have the money and it's something that you are interested in doing, this is definitely a tip that can help you out a lot. But again, don't buy an iPad. Don't spend $1,000 and say, Bobby, I'm not a pro player. Give me my money because it's not going to make you a pro player. But anyways, these are the 10 tips that I have for you guys. I think they're really good tips. Um, I think it's going to be really helpful. You don't have to apply all 10, but if you can do three or four or five of these, you guys are going to notice a very significant increase in your skill. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys are ready for the absolute banger of a video we have in two days. That's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys soon. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.